This is a short movie showing Image Pro Premiere version 9 and how to create and use regions of interest. Starting off in Image Pro Premiere, we use the Select tab. This will bring us to regions of interest. By choosing an image, I can then add regions of interest to the image. Starting off in the default mode, you can select a region. There are various choices, and we can also do auto trace from here. And I can draw a region of interest on the image. By using the pointer tool, I can select it and move it around. You also have the options by choosing under annotate, the display options, changing the color and the thickness of the region of interest. You can also save these as defaults. Right now, I'm just going to close this. You can also add multiple regions of interest to your image. To do that, simply select multiple ROIs, and this will allow you to draw multiple regions of interest on an image. In earlier video, we showed you how to save multiple regions using the Features Manager tool. Please look at that video for more information. So what can we do with regions of interest? Right now I'm going to delete these, and I'm just going to draw a single region of interest using the Circle tool. I go outside here. A number of things can be done. So, for example, just to show how regions of interest behave, I'm going to select uh, Process, 2D Filters. You can see by choosing any type of image processing filter, you can run enhancements within there. And I'm just going over the different filters so you can see the different what's happening inside the region of interest. In addition, we can also choose to process or count even outside the region of interest. To do that, simply go to the options and select the invert ROIs. I need to turn that on. And now when I select a filter, you'll see it process outside the region of interest. And simply by moving this, it'll update it, and you can see the enhancements occurring outside the regions of interest. So this is a new feature that we've added to the Image Pro family in order to process outside the region of interest. In addition, I'm just going to turn this off for a second, we can do something else. That's a new feature that we've added to Image Pro Premiere, and that is by adding multiple regions of interest, I'm just going to drag this out a little bit now. Drag that out a little bit. I'm going to draw another region. I'm just going to choose a different tool so you can see. One of the things with other regions of interest now, we can process with inside regions of interest or a donut region of interest. In this case, I'm going to turn off my invert. I'm going to select XOR ROIs. By turning that on, and now just to show what that does is by selecting process, again choosing filters, you can now see that I'm processing in between my regions of interest. So this is a great little tool that if you need to do something within an area that you can actually process in there, or use count size to count objects or areas between the regions of interest. And just turn that off for a second. If you need to move them around, you can easily, with the pointer tool, select them all and move them in mass. In addition, I can always select a single one. If you need to delete it, you can delete one or you can delete all. For more information, please contact your dealer or local sales office. Thank you.